And then last up, I just want to do just a follow up to this story. This was from November 30th, and it was uh, Bitcoin miners in Chinese uh, Yunnan province were cut off from the electricity supply. So just to reiterate, um, what they did was the CCP, Communist Party of China, they went to the electrical company and said, hey, if anybody is uh, doing any kind of uh, Bitcoin mining, shut them off right now. And they did that. So that was what happened. This was in China's uh, fourth largest Bitcoin mining hub uh, after some other cities that I can't even pronounce. So what we got here is another instance of well, what happens if China, the government, uh, cracks down on the mining pools. Remember, they're mining pools, not individual miners, mining pools. Now, here's another thing. There are individual miners that do live in China, but you have to understand these individual miners, also individual miners, live outside. They live in South Carolina, they live in Texas, they live in the United Kingdom, they live in Canada, they live all over the world. So I don't know how many individual miners are actually living in China, but I know that the the China, uh, the mining pools, which pool all the individual miners from all over the world, 65% uh, of them are actually in China. So the question is, what will happen when you shut down uh, individual miners in this region? Well, so the big thing would be the hash rates. So did the hash rate fall? If we take a look over here at blockchain.com, these are the raw values for 30 days. So this happened on November 30th. This is November 29th. This is November 30th. And then we take a little bit of a retracement here on December 1st. I don't have de December 2nd or 3rd's data, but as you can see, it looks pretty much all over the place and there wasn't like a massive huge drop off to where everything just went to the floor it's because this is actually good for miners because when miners don't have so much competition the difficulty rate adjusts so it's not as difficult to mine bitcoin and if that happens then i think maybe more bitcoin miners will actually turn on their rigs and go hey it's not so difficult now i can actually get some bitcoin in there and this also gives an opportunity for other mining pools who are in wherever uh, to actually be more competitive for Bitcoin. So it's actually good to shut down. It's like if you have like four stores and they all sell books and then, uh, you know, one of the big ones like just totally shuts down. Like we can't uh, do anything. Like great, the other three are like fantastic, less competition for us and it works out great. So that's what we have so far right now. But there's an article and uh, I'm gonna get this tomorrow because there's we really going over but it talks about there's a US Intel official talks about we cannot allow China to dominate digital currencies and I don't see the fear uh, that China has with Bitcoin I don't think that's the that's the case they want Bitcoin gone they don't want to destroy it. they just want it gone so they can have digital yuan the big thing is CBDCs and the digital yuan to actually take precedent because all the other countries, U.S. included, is dragging its feet. I'll go over that tomorrow. Also, if you're looking for the next cryptocurrency that's going to outperform Bitcoin, I recommend Trade the Chain. It has all the different data points that you possibly need. What they really look at is they have a direct API into Twitter and they parse through millions of tweets and data points and all different websites and exchanges to look for one of the nearest or the next mergers and acquisitions. When is the next listing going to happen? Any kind of negative news, like any kind of hacks. And this is a great website, but what makes it even better is the alerts that you get on your phone via the Slack app and they come to you and tell you exactly exactly that same information at the drop of a hat. So I definitely recommend to check that out. There's a link in the description. There's a 14 day, no questions asked refund if you don't like it, just to check it out because uh, there's a lot of gains we made out there. And I think this one could be great. All right, so that's it for today. So thanks for sticking with me through the whole video. I really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there'll be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. I'll let uh, YouTube do their magic on that one. And that is all. Uh, so I will see you on the next one.